the tow rails and the, and the cockpit combing have been uh, sanded down after the blasting, preparing to, to seal them with the West System as well. This time we're going to choose to do the, the late afternoon. It's uh, 6.30 and we're going to let the uh, cooling of the wood actually help draw the epoxy in versus earlier when we did the cabin we did in the heat of the day which caused us to uh, have to sp spray the denatured alcohol in order to keep the uh, keep bursting the little gassing bubbles that were coming out of the wood. So we'll see how it works in the evening. Uh, assuming it's going to draw it in a little better and won't have to spray it all. And then you'll see what it looks like afterwards. Front view of the tow rail. The sanded with 80 80 grit to get all the blasting off, all the fibers from the blasting that were loose. So here again we're going to do a, uh, a saturation coat with the West system and then a couple of sequential coats on top of it to fill and then the top varnish. Putting the uh, West system on at 6.30 in the evening proved to be a pretty good choice. Didn't see any bubbling at all from the outgassing. So the theory is that as it gets cooler, the, wood, the, wood, the wood's cooling down and it actually will draw the epoxy into it versus when it's hot and getting hotter, it gasses out and causes those little bubbles. So we'll have to keep that in mind for doing any other coatings on bare wood that later in the evening for the west system or early in the morning will be best.